In this video, we're going to convert EDII file to a DAT file. If you're unfortunate enough to receive an EDII file with metadata, in this video, I'm going to help you convert it to a DAT file. If you have another software that can do conversion from EDII to something else, go ahead and use it. Here, what we're going to do is number of search and replace us in a text editor to get us from EDII file to the DAT file. In this case, I'm going to use a text pad just because I always use ultra edit. So here, let's use something different. I have my EDII file open. If I scroll up and down, I see that I have my metadata and I'm going to go all the way to the top. And first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these record. I'm going to press F5 to do search. I have semicolon space record. I'm going to mark all, edit, delete, bookmark lines. Now, the first line here is a store ID. It appears only once in this EDII file, so we'll get rid of that too manually. Okay, and now we can start doing some search and replacing. First, I need a character that is not used anywhere in the file. So I'm going to press F5 and I'm going to type in pipe just to see if we have any. And good, I don't have any. If you were to have some, you would need to use a different character like a tilde or something else. So let's press F8. And first thing we're going to do is replace all the new lines to pipe. So we're going to type backslash N, replace with pipe, and we'll make sure regular expression is turned on. We'll click replace all. Now we have a really weird looking file now. But what we're going to do is select at T space, press F8, and replace that back into a new line, like so. And now we have something that's starting to resemble a DAT file. Let's clean this up. Going to highlight space from space, press F8, and we're going to replace it to just pipe. And then we'll do the same thing with two, making sure to leave that space at the end. CC and BCC. And now we can add headers back in. Doc ID from to CC BCC. And now we can use this as a dat file to overlay it to whatever review system you're using. And just so we could see it in a nicer delimited view, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to paste it into Excel. I'm going to go to data and text to column, delimit it by pipe, shift, click on the last column, select text and finish. Now I can select and make all the columns bigger. And now we can see how metadata was split into different columns. And that's it. That's how easy it is to deal with those pesky EDII files with some search and replace. You can turn them into a usable format. Thank you for watching.